Get out. I used to be in every one of these pictures. What do you want, Kurt? It's the come all grab all weekend, Allie, right? Just thought I'd stop by, see how everybody's doing. And not go to Grandpa's funeral? Mmm, low. <sighs> Always love that view. Man. David thinks you're dead, you know. And that's what he told his kids, too. Well, maybe I should be. It's not like anybody ever came looking for me. Not that they'd want to. Mom filed a missing persons report. Oh, isn't that sweet? I'm all warm and fuzzy. Fuck you. Why are you here? I want Grandpa's gun. I doubt anybody even remembers he had one. Well, you could have asked him for it at the funeral. Dear Pop Pop, now that you're dead and buried, and your offspring are cleaning out your house. May I please have your gun? No one has seen you in. Wait! Okay. He said I could have it. Or a grandma's funeral, or any baby showers, or graduations, or my wedding? Oh shit. You married that fucking asshole. <laughs> oh my god. I'll have a lemon water. When did you ever see Graham's drink lemon water? You know... Kurt Myers wasn't the only black sheep of the family. Well, I'm sure you drove that point home when you married a wolf like Donnie. I didn't have anyone to walk me down the aisle. That's my fault? Where was your dad? He, he didn't go either. <laughs> Good old Uncle Todd. You remember when you caught me breaking into his stash and smoking all his weed? <laughs> yeah, and I specifically remember you not sharing. Dad, you were 11 years old. So? I think that speaks volumes of your character. Yeah, yeah, I'm fucking responsible. And that's why I'm the cousin that gets the gun. How many family photos have you seen me in? Well, you made yourself pretty easy to forget about. <laughs> Nobody knew where you were, who you were with, if there were any kids. I'm on fucking Facebook! Nice try. That was taken the day he was diagnosed with prostate cancer. On the last day of his worry-free life, I would like to think that he wanted to spend it with his favorite grandson. Oh my gosh, quit being so dramatic. If you cared about him that much, you would have gone to the funeral. Except nobody fucking told me about the funeral. You know the only reason I'm here? Because I got some fucking probate fucking court shit in my mailbox telling me Gramps was dead, his will the fucking house to the kids. And I had till this weekend to show up and grab something. One little trinket, one little fucking memento from a family that's obviously cleared the fucking path and moved on without me. It's gone. Don't fuck with me, Allie. It's been gone, Kurt. It's the only thing I fucking want. I buried it. Don't bullshit me. I did. I buried it. You buried it. Why the fuck would you bury it? I saw you playing with it like Dirty Harry in his bedroom. Because you knew where he hid it. So you had it with you. Oh, Jesus. You were, you were like six, six or... Six or seven. Yeah, I don't know. You guys had just gone out shooting. And you had it with you in his bedroom. And I was watching you and I was like, oh my gosh. 
on and be like, Cousin Kurt, crazy cowboy. And I went outside and I buried it. You think it's still up there on the old property? I don't know. Funny thing about that gun. You know, as messed up as this family is sometimes when we're all together, it almost ended a lot sooner. Dad visited Grandpa, you know, almost every day during his last month, and Grandpa said that when he found out about everything, so he could survive. Yeah. Yeah. He said he came home planning that night, too. Jesus, I didn't know. But he couldn't find it. Because I had buried it. Wow. That's some heavy shit, cousin. I mean, that's, that's, that's heavy. He got another 25 years. We all did. Because I was snooping on you. Bad, bad black sheep. Thank you.